in the sun where I find I know it's hard sometimes Pieces of peace in the sun Okay, we're finally doing a video here of a fly we uh, had step-by-step step for several years ago. It's probably one of our most famous uh, patterns tied on a Shumakov tube. And it's going to be on a long-range aluminum Shumakov tube. And you can see uh, one of the highlights of these tubes is these ridges they have on them. Uh, so it's tied on a liner tube. Uh, this is the 5mm aluminum one. What we're going to do first is we're going to color in these slots just to give it a, a nice look. I know Yuri, when he came up with these flies, or pardon me, these, these tubes, intentionally made the slots to be colored in. So that's what we're going to do to start with. Actually, I uh, managed to find some blue. Uh, so I'm going to go with blue with this one. It's kind of a sparkly blue color. This one's going to be a more subtle coloration. So you can see I've just... colored over all the slots. Now I'll gently just remove some with a rag. And there we go. Alright, I'm going to melt the back end of my liner tube to make a nice lip there. And I'm going to get it on my mandrel. All right, we're just about ready to go. Hey, I'm going to tie on with uh, my red thread here. And if you've ever tied on a Shumakov tube, you've probably noticed there is one, one thing you have to kind of get used to. You have to build up a ridge of thread right where, right where the metal tube, the long range tube, meets the liner tube. You just kind of have to make a bump there, otherwise it's going to twirl around. Uh, so just make a nice little bump. And I'm going to start by taking a an orange feather from an, from an Indian uh, neck actually. Okay. I'm just going to tie it in and wrap it forward. Now this is a really easy Shumakov style tube. Um, not a lot of technique to it. Just a matter of getting the feathers and lying the right way. So I'm going to spin forward. And the first step of this fly is to simply add three different ne uh, hackles. Just one after each other. I'm just wrapping it slightly forward. Nothing fancy about this part. Okay, so there's the orange. Let's cut the tip off. I'm just going to pull it back a little bit and tie down. As you uh, build on the layers of this fly, each successful layer will lie a little flatter. Okay, I'm going to go in with a, my pink, and again this is just from an Indian neck, nothing fancy at all. Get one of the bigger feathers, and you're just going to cut off the base. Same thing, tie it in just like you did the pink. And again wrapping slightly forward. You'll see as the pink goes forward, the orange kind of lays down a little bit more. That's what we're looking for. Okay, cut the tip. And again, just kind of sweep it back a little bit. You're going to add the last, the last color on here. And uh, we've done this different ways. Sometimes we add the last feather is uh, uh, purple. Sometimes we add blue. Uh, this time I just happen to have blue, so that's what we're going to go with. This is kind of a royal blue. 
you can go silver dollar or blue too, but always as with any tube, there's uh, variations on it. That's part of what we like about fly tying is switching things up the way we want to. Hey, so yellow, orange, then blue or purple, hackle. You get kind of that that nice nice mix from orange at the back to blue at the front. Okay, and I'll just sweep it back again a little bit. Okay, and that's basically the underwing of the fly. Nothing too complicated. Okay, we're now going to add a collar of uh, this is teal feather. So it's silver doctor color teal. This just kind of gives a nice final look to the hackle before we toss on our wing here. Okay, so I'm just going to pull away the fluff. You can see this, this is a pretty large feather. Uh, actually, you know what? It's probably too large. I'm going to go with a smaller one. The best thing about Schumann tubes is they, uh, they are a lot smaller when you compare them to other tubes. So you don't have to use your giant feathers all the time. You know, when you get a mixed bag and you only get a few giant feathers in it, uh, these ones you're actually using some of the smaller or medium feathers. Okay, so silver doctor blue teal feather. I'll pull it back from the tip. Right. I'll tie it in with the tip. We'll do exactly what we did with the other feathers. Just going to wind them forward, slightly forward. And you want to tie off before you hit the, the kind of the thicker base here, so we don't have a huge looking head on this on this smaller tube. Okay, and you're gonna pull back the strands and tie them in. And you can see how that adds a nice little color there. All right, I'm gonna add a little flash now. Um, doesn't really matter which color. I kind of go with a pale one, either either a pearlescent or this is kind of a light pink maybe just about five or six strands okay. you want to tie them in that's going to be the top or probably the bottom of the wing tie them in there and with anything fly tying you know how much flash you put into a fly is is uh, generally up to the tire and a couple long ones there okay, so I've just got a long long kind of under wing there I'm ready for the final process here. I'm just going to add a little tiny little more structure to this wing. I'm just going to put in a little bit of, of light blue bucktail. Uh, it just holds up because the, the final wing is a feather wing. It just kind of holds the feather wing up a little bit. We're not talking about a big hunk here. It's just a few strands. And on a, on a bucktail, you know too that the, the base of the bucktail is usually quite thick. This is right from the tip, so it's really thin, thin hair. Don't want to again. You don't want a huge head on this fly. Okay, so just a little bit of blue bucktail. And then we're going to finish it off with again. I've got an Indian cape here, purple. And again, with with these smaller Shumikov tubes, you don't have to use your finest material. Uh, a lot of the kind of more economical feathers work just as well because you don't need the giant size, right? Okay, you're getting about three or four of these feathers. And I've tied this two different ways. I've tied it where the wings are nice, even wings on each side. Uh, you know what, though, for fishing purposes, I find just laying them right on top. So right on top of the bucktail. Works the best. Uh, it doesn't have to be more complicated than that. And just make sure everything's tied down there nice. Okay, and I'm going to finish this with jungle cock. Uh, really small jungle cock. Just to give it that look. I'll put it directly going out laterally along the fly. Finish it off by making a nice 
finished head here. And you know, in recent years I've been, uh, I don't worry too much about the whip finish. Uh, what I do, do on all my flies now, especially two flies that you've invested a lot of time in, is just a couple half hitches. And then instead of head cement, which, you know, can hold but eventually unravel, I'll go through and I'll epoxy all the heads on my flies. Alright, so there you have it. You can see the wings just kind of lays on top. You've got nice color of that teal. All we have to do is trim it up and burn a lip on it. There you go. That's the hail bop. Probably our, our most famous and best catching Shumikov fly. And a really easy tie as well. I just want to stay in the sun where I find I know it's hard sometimes Pieces of peace in the sun